Well, we really took uh, people by surprise last year with the GT500. Uh, that model delivered a very dramatic improvement in handling and refinement over the prior generation. And it was really, it held true to the Shelby legacy of uh, performance and precise handling. As you can see here, the men and women uh, at SVT, take a, we take a lot of pride in our work. And uh, so now, let's, uh, let's pull the covers off the car. As I mentioned earlier, yeah, there you go. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, people were surprised with the 2010 car. Terrific balance, improved grip, acceleration, refinement. All of these attributes remain with this car right here, but we've turned up the wick to create just the next evolution of the ultimate Mustang. We have an aluminum block 5.4 liter engine here that's uh, heavily derived from the Ford GT supercar. It's not a coincidence that there's a Ford GT in the back of the room because a lot of the lessons that we learned with this engine on the GT have been incorporated here. Uh, but we've taken it one step further. This is an all aluminum engine that has no cylinder liners. It's got uh, patented plasma cylinder liner technology uh, the engine weighs 102 pounds less than its predecessor. So with the, with the new car, we use the same tuning philosophy that was uh, so uh, popular with the 2010 model. It's balanced, it's very uh, controllable at the limit, uh, and it's got high levels of grip while giving the customer uh, still plenty of comfort on the road. There's, there's a really big news with the convertible because the convertible chassis uh, has benefited from a 30% gain in structural rigidity. So what that's allowed uh, uh, our um, vehicle dynamics guys to do is just be much more uh, aggressive in incorporating some of the 2010 coupe lessons onto the convertible. So really now, the, the convertible that was the cruiser is now very much a sports car that just doesn't happen to have a roof. Just to, just to put in perspective what these changes uh, do to the handling of the car, um, the two, this 2011 car around a 2.3 mile road course is three seconds faster than the 2010 coupe. Three seconds. I mean, the racers in the group, you guys know what we do for one second a lap improvement, and this car just raises the bar to another level.